congratulations on this uh, YouTube video project. What is it called? Uh, Safe Voting Feels So Good? Yes, Safe Voting Feels So Good. So, so tell me what uh, initiated uh, this uh, YouTube video um, to urge people to vote uh, this coming Tuesday, in fact. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, actually, this coming Tuesday is the last day to vote. Um, obviously, because of the pandemic, we are in a unique set of circumstances uh, in which people now have to vote by mail um, or they can drop off their ballots in a safe certified box and the goal was that you know this is one of the most important elections of our lifetime it is an election that is happening at a time that's unprecedented in human history which is um not just the pandemic but also of course the moment of economic crisis climate crisis uh, i'm here in california and um the climate crisis is, is here very visible in our state um and then of course that we are at a time of racial reckoning and so um, we wanted to encourage people to vote and we wanted to do so in a way that was using comedy and of course also using sex. <laughs> Great combination. So when, <laughs> when, when did you board this project? When, when did it start for you? Um, well, I've worked with the production team um, since they launched, which was uh, last year. Um, and uh, for me, it really started, the, the, working on the election started last year. So since last December, I've been um, meeting and strategizing with artists all around the country around how we might use our creative tools uh, to inspire people because, you know, it's, it's not enough to just get a postcard in the mail. It's not enough to just watch the news. Um, we want, we need to use all of our creative tools. Uh, and so um, all year, I've actually been working on many different artistic projects about getting out the vote. So with, with the production company, Offside Productions, which uh, produ produced this, uh, you know, th this video, how, how did you guys basically proceed it through the process um, with, with the video from, um, from recruiting, you know, um, Diane Guerrero and, um, and writing the, the creative, very creative and funny script? Yes. So uh, the group Offside Productions, uh, uh, the, the group of artists, we've, we've all done a number of projects together, including um, a film series called The North Pole, which is about climate change. We've taken on a number of topics. Offside Productions also, uh, during the 4th of July, produced a video with Davi Diggs that got over 10 million views. Uh, and so as soon as the summer started coming around, we knew that we needed uh, something unique that would also speak to Latino voters. Uh, the reason being, of course, Latino voters are a sort of sleeping giant in this election. And we know from previous data that um, Latino voters um, need to be energized and activated. And so uh, a number of uh, writers, two of the main writers, um, uh, um, uh, Raina, um, I, I can't, I can't remember her name, but there was two, two, two women writers, um, as well as the offsite production team, and we've been just, you know, I, 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 I uh, helped secure Diane's participation, um, and I know Diane through other projects, but we really wanted to have uh, somebody who could. Um, inspire uh, uh, Latino community members and also inspire young people. You know, we are, it's also very critical for young people to engage in this election. Uh, and um, we were looking for something that was using, of course, the metaphors of safe sex, um, but also talking about safe voting, because I think one of the fears a lot of people have, of course, in the age of pandemic is that they don't want to get sick. Uh, and so we wanted to remind people that there's a lot of ways to vote, not just, of course, standing in line, but actually mailing in your vote ballot ahead of time or dropping it off in a secure box. Absolutely. And you know what's funny? I actually seen that series on North Pole. It's, it's like that. Oh, you have? It's the Oakland story, yeah, that That's has right. Rosario Dawson in it, yeah. That's right. Yeah, see, we are, you know, Latinas are, are really making change right now. <laughs> <laughs> So what are some of your personal issues or have you, have you always been part of the resistance? <laughs> yes, actually, um, I grew up in Oakland and so I was very influenced by 
uh, the Panthers, I, I grew up here during the war on drugs so, uh, in the 80s and 90s. And um, when I was growing up, there was still the remnants of the Panthers, of the Chicano movement. And, you know, Oakland was a very hard place to live in. Um, during the 80s, it, I felt that um, our government neglected us. And that really shaped my outlook on life. Uh, and so uh, I started doing activism since I was a teenager. Um, because when I was uh, 16 years old, uh, a proposition, Prop 187, passed here in my state of California, which was one of the worst anti-immigrant laws ever. It, it eventually got overturned. But that really taught me that um, we need to pay attention to the stories that are told about Latinx people. And um, so I was inspired to be an artist early on. And um, I, I became an artist in a more serious way starting in the year 2000. Um, and so for the last 20 years, I've been making art. I've been a, a storyteller. I run a national organization, the Center for Cultural Power, uh, that is focused on creating narratives for change. And, you know, film is one of the things I love uh, to do uh, um, because it's really a compelling way to tell stories. And especially now when we have so many people who, uh, you know, the pandemic has really increased how much people are on their phones and computers. Mm -hmm. And so we really wanted to do a, a short film that would make people laugh, but also uh, inspire them to, uh, to vote. So after this video is, uh, has been published, and not to mention that the election is coming up this Tuesday, and it'll be, and right. we're, we're going to have, we're going to know who's going to who's going to be the vic victor here. Are you still planning for more projects um, with with Offside Productions, or is this going to be? Yes, absolutely. I am on the board of Offside Productions, um, and so uh, we we have a uh, um, many uh, um, new projects in the works, and really. The goal of Offside Productions is that we need to bring the joy and comedy to politics, right? Um, COVID is not going anywhere. COVID is disproportionately killing Black, Latinos, and Indigenous people. Um, we are still going to be in an economic crisis. Uh, there is going to be, my hope is that there will be economic relief. But as we saw from this latest round of economic relief, um, Latinx people and Black people are, are one of the fewest to really, uh, it's, not, it's not getting to our communities. And so there's still a lot of work to be done. And then, of course, we have the climate crisis. Um, and the goal of Offside Productions is to continue to collaborate um, with social movement groups to create videos that are funny, that are joyful, and really that help, help inspire uh, the next generation of activists. So it Despite the a lot of uh, expectations of the the country going blue, we're going to yeah. still going to push forward with all. Absolutely, I mean, we still. I think that um, uh, when Joe Biden wins, because I'm feeling very hopeful about it. You know, I've I've been spending a year uh, working with um, all kinds of partners to really ensure that people are getting out the vote. I mean, already the numbers that we see are astronomical of people who are voting this year who haven't voted before, a lot more young people. We're, we're seeing a huge Latino voter turnout. Um, but a, a election, um, inauguration day is just the beginning because from there we still have to ensure that uh, the issues of, uh, in, in my case as a, as a Latina woman, um, you know, it, it, the issues don't go away, right? We still, in my home state of California, Latinx people are the number one dying by disproportionate amounts. And so that means that we are finally gonna be able to concentrate on solutions and not just on, you know, really fighting, fighting lies because so much of what our work is currently is to just sort of fight misinformation or to, um, you know, fight against the things that are happening to us on a, on a, on a daily basis. Um, but my hope is that when we have people in the White House, people in government who are actually ready to come to the table to look at solutions, then we still have a whole nother body of work in front of us, uh, which is around recovery. And recovery is going to take years. I mean, the level of impacts in our communities are severe, really severe. Um, and so, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to a time when we can um, 
begin to have real conversations about solutions. And, and I think this is always a start. Now for, for and I think a fact is that uh, your voice is actually featured in this video. Am I correct or is that someone Yes, else? that's correct. That's my voice. <laughs> talk, talk about that experience. Yeah. I mean. Yes, absolutely. Well, you know, in my work uh, as the daughter of two immigrants, um, both of my parents were from Peru and uh, we never talked about sex. It's just, it's, it's kind of a, a Latino thing. And so I am a big advocate for sex education. I talk to Latino parents, La Latinx young people all around the country about the importance of talking about sex because we know what happens when we don't talk about sex. So we don't talk about sex. We have um, unwanted pregnancies. You know, we, we have situations that could be avoided if we simply talk about it. And so um, for me, I love to create videos that talk about sex. I love to, um, it was very fun for me to do the voices because it's very much my personality uh, as an artist. I, uh, I'm not shy about expressing myself. Um, and I really, it, you know, it took a lot of takes to get just the right thing. Thankfully, I'm fully bilingual. So I was really able to kind of capture uh, the, the, the bilingual style uh, of the voice. But I'm very proud, very proud of the work that I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? It's a, it's a hilarious take. That, that is for sure. Yeah. But uh, for, for some people who, don't, who really don't know, who, who is the guy's voice? The deep voice. The guy's voice is Mark Bamuti Joseph, and he's actually a, a friend of ours uh, and is uh, from a poet, a wonderful playwright uh, who works at the, uh, the uh, Kennedy Center um, in the performing arts. Uh, and so he uh, brings a lot of experience as a performer, but also as somebody from the Bay Area that's very uh, committed to this kind of work. Excellent, excellent. And, um, and one more thing, um, because uh, you mentioned that you are an artist for, you know, many, many years already. Um, could, could you tell us uh, where we could actually see your art um, in, in the future? Yes, uh, you can see my art at faviana.com. And that is my name, F-A-V-I-A-N-N-A.com. Um, a lot of my work deals with the issues that I care about as a Latina woman. You know, I care about gender equity. Uh, just yesterday was Latina Equal Pay Day. Many people don't know that Latinas get paid 53 cents to every dollar a white man makes. I care about the climate crisis. Um, I care about racial justice. And all of that is reflected in my work. I encourage everyone to check it out. I just uploaded an activity for uh, Day of the Dead. You know, we are approaching the Day of the Dead weekend. And uh, I made a papel picado that says, Black Lives Matter, Las Vidas Negras Importan, uh, just to, you know, remind our communities that um, very important that we stand with the Black Lives Matter movement. And as we are grieving the over, 210,000 dead of COVID. Let's be sure to remember the lives of people like George Floyd and Breonna Taylor um, and honor them uh, this year's Day of the Dead. You are one amazing woman. From <laughs> between your art and your activism, I have no idea how you find the time for anything else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Well, hey, congratulations, Faviana. I really appreciate the conversation that you just uh, just had with me, and uh, let's let, let's cross our fingers on on Tuesday then. Yes, great. Thank you so much. Hey, thank you. Bye now. Bye. Thank you.